All right, welcome back, artistic ladies and gentlemen, to another Fun Friday episode in this Pokemon TCG online series. Fun Friday is all about playing around with fun and silly deck ideas. And today, I bring you a Vespa Queen deck for the new standard format. Next up, we are up against Blaze335 with a Colorless, Darkness, Psychic, and a Dragon Egg. This is Darkrai, Giratina, Garbodor. Uh, we will need to deal with the Garbodor, I think, so to make sure we can use our abilities from the unknown and the Klefkis during the entirety of the game as well as our shamans. Blaze is uh, going second because we are going to opt to go first. All right, fantastic. What do we start off with? Uh, bummer hand. My goodness, that's a really bad hand. Well, let's play down the Klefki in the eighth spot. We have one Acrobatic. The Acrobatic is going to need to save us as well as our top deck here. Because the rest of it is not really any use for us at the moment. And there's an Umbreon. We could use the Umbreon to draw into some more cards. Another Acrobatic will discard the Forest of Giant Plants. Alrighty. Can you give us anything good? A Sycamore, yes. We'll have to discard a Vest Seeker, but that's okay. We'll also have to discard this Special Charge. Let's put this Floatstone on the Klefki. Um, yes, we will do that. I think, alright, then do we play down the Umbreon X and attach the DCE? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm going to discard the Umbreon and the DCE. We have another special charge to get that DCE back uh, and we get another pretty bad hand. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we have an unknown here. We have another Klefki. Uh, and there's a special charge. Um, let's see, let's see. We will put this Klefki onto the unknown and make sure we can get rid of the Klefki. Then we'll use our unknown with the farewell letter. We are looking for a combi and some draw support for the next turn. A VS Seeker, that's good, so we have draw support for the next turn. Then we'll unknown again for a Lysander. Alright, I'm going to play down my Lugia. Uh, yes, we'll do that. And then we will retreat into our Lugia. The Lugia is pretty good against the Giratina. We need to knock out this Giratina before we get Chaos Wield. Uh, we'll put a Float Stone on a Lugia and then we'll use the Clef Key. No, we, we cannot use the Clef Key because we do not have... Uh, we have the Float Stone on the Lugia at the moment. And we will end our turn here, see what our opponent does. In the next turn, we will Sycamore this hand away after we use a Special Charge. We might use the Halucha as well, depending on what my opponent does. There is the Double Dragon Energy, that is good. I wanted to see that Double Dragon Energy so we can hit for 80 against this Lugia with our... Uh, against this Giratina with our Lugia X. Get rid of those uh, Giratinas as soon as we can. There's another Giratina, <laughs> never mind, my opponent has another Giratina. Oh boy, this is a pretty bad match for us. Uh, pretty damn bad match. As soon as my opponent powers up a Giratina, it's basically GG. Unless we manage to license something out and get it stuck in the exit spot, so my opponent misses out on one turn uh, of Chaos Wheeling us, which gives us a chance, an opportunity to attach a DCE. We do see an N shuffling back this hand in our deck, which is good. I didn't really want to use my spe special charge yet. Oh my goodness, and <laughs> we get a terrible hand from the N. What's up with all these terrible hands? We need good hands against this Darkrai Giratina Hoopa deck. So now we need to look for another draw supporter. And there's a Revitalizer that is not really a draw supporter. Well, well, well. Can we find anything here? Let's use the Klefki, Wonderlog, the Klefki onto another Klefki. Then let's uh, Wonderlog this Klefki onto the other Klefki. And then let's uh, wonder lock this Klefki onto our unknown. Alright, and then we'll use the farewell letter from the unknown. This unknown will need to be our savior. It is a Halucha. Let's end our turn, that's pretty bad. That is pretty darn bad. We are just not lucky, not lucky at all. Very, very bad hands. We have uh, quite a bit of Pokemon in our discard pile, but that's not really doing anything for us at the moment. An energy. On the Darkrai, that's good, so we won't get Chaos Wield. And a Vier Seeker for another end, yes, alright. We do see another end, that's great. 
That is superb. Maybe we can even one-shot this Giratina as long as we don't see a Fighting Fury Belt. Uh, Komi Komi and a DCE. Fantastic. We do get the DCE for our Lugia. So we will hit for 80 against this Giratina EX. And then 80 more in the next turn unless we see another Double Dragon Energy. There is the Parallel City reducing our bench size. So we'll need to find another first of giant plans because right now we can only bench three Pokemon because of the Parallel City. Do we see some Max Alexius? No, we do not. Uh, Revitalizer, uh, not very useful. Let's put this DCE on our Lugia. Let's uh, bench another combi. Let's uh, Acrobike uh, and or Vesper Queen. I'm actually going to grab the N. Maybe not. So let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab the N for the next turn. I don't really want to use my VS Seekers at the moment. I want to keep them for the uh, for the late game. And then we'll Shaman for three more cards. A Shaman, a Forest of Giant Plants. And here we do get another Revitalizer. All right, I'm going to make use of my Forest of Giant Plants right now. And evolve into at least one Vesper Queen here. Yes, alright, fantastic. And then we can uh, Shaman again for a couple more cards here. Or we could just simply end. Do I want to end? My opponent seems to have a pretty bad hand. Maybe not. I will not end at the moment. I will just Shaman again. I'm looking for another DCE. Uh, oh, and here we get the Pokemon Ranger. So we could use a Pokemon Ranger against the Giratina X and then attach our DCEs. Now we have that option. That is good. And that is definitely good. Actually, I will uh, Ultra Ball discard my N and my Halucha. Dis uh, uh, try to grab an unknown. Uh, get some more Pokemon in my discard pile. And there's our last unknown. Fantastic. Alright, so we will have 9 Pokemon in the discard pile. We are hitting for 110 damage with our Vesper Queen, which is not too shabby. That is not too shabby at all. There's another Vesper Queen. Look at that. Everything, everything worked out for us. Aero Ball for 80 damage. And then... Either a knockout in the next turn, or uh, we will be 10 short for knocking out this Giratina X if my opponent does not attach a double dragon energy. And I think my opponent won't do it. Which means I might just license her out to Darkrai instead. Huh. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Zero Seek. Oh my goodness. A zero Seek. Oh. On our DCE, now we need to find our special charge. So we'll have to Sycamore in the next turn. Use our VS Seeker for a Sycamore. Oh boy, what a bummer. There's an energy on the Darkrai and a Floatstone on the Giratina in the active spot. We will get hit for a bit of damage here. There's a Shaman. This was a very good turn for my opponents. A very, a very good turn actually. I might just have to... No, I need to hit with the Lugia. Ah, what a bummer. Cannot believe this just happened. Dark Pulse for 110 damage. Or I might just have to license out my opponent Shaman. And get too easy knockouts that way. Um, Now we are going to go for the end. I don't want to discard that VS Seeker here. So we will end. Keep the Pokemon Ranger in our deck as well. And the special charge and a DCE. Alrighty. And we have our Bumblebee as well. To shuffle back DCEs. First of all, let's Acrobike. Sycamore or Shaman? Definitely the Sycamore. Put the Shaman in our discard pile. 1, 5, 10, 11, 130 damage. 130 damage. Uh, we hit for 80 or 130. I'm going to hit for 130 with my Vesper Queen. My opponent will knock out our Vesper Queen, but so be it. And we will use our special charge to shuffle back some DCEs into our deck. Maybe we can even top deck a DC in the next turn. Be revenge it is for 130 damage. We will get the KO here in the next turn. Either with our Vesper Queen or with our Lugia. Preferably our Lugia. But Lugia is 10 short at the moment. Unless my opponent attaches another energy. Which I don't think my opponent will. Nope. It does not attach another energy to Darkrai in the X spot. So we, need, we are forced to go with our Vesper Queen here. And there's Dark Pulse for the KO. 130 damage. So now we need to make do with 
Three more DCEs. Three more DCEs will need to do it for us. Unless uh, unless we can manage to get off some burrows, uh, some rototillers with our bundle B. So I might as well play down my bundle B here. And then Sycamore this hand away. We should be able to find at least one DCE. And there's a DCE, a Lysander. All right. All right, and B Revenge for the KO will take two prizes. I'm not sure if a DCE is prized. I've got a feeling one of our DCEs is prized. A combi, N and N. That is not a DCE. That's not really what we needed to see here. Huh. This is not going to be very easy. We can license in the next turn. We can license the Giratina. Knock out the Giratina if we tomic a DCE. If not, I think I might just go for an N maybe. And shuffle everything back into my deck. If my opponent decides to attack us with the Giratina for a Chaos Wheel, we will need to use our Pokemon Ranger and, and we will need to top deck a DCE in the same turn to make sure we can attack here with our Vespa Queen on the bench. So we really need we really needed that DCE in our hand at the moment. It's a little bit unfortunate that it's still in our deck. What is my opponent going to do? Does my opponent have the double dragon energy? If she does, it is basically very straightforward. She needs to promote the Giratina, but she does not promote the Giratina, just promotes the Dark Cry. Another Darkness Energy, so we'll get hit for 90 damage again. And a Float Stone on the Hoopa on the bench, alrighty. An Ultra Ball, maybe if my opponent bench is not a Shaman, we can simply license our two Shamans and take the game that way. That would be great if we could do that. A Trubbish, alright, Trubbish is, uh, I'm fine with the Trubbish. 10, 12 Pokemon in our discard pile. Hmm. And a Sycamore from our opponent, discarding a Shaman. We could also try to license a Giratina out in the active spots, try to get it stuck there while we're trying to find our DCEs maybe. That's something we could try to do. Because my opponent already attached two Float Stones. Has my opponent discarded any escape ropes? Nope, my opponent has not. There's a Max Alex here. Oh, this is going to be so close, so close. Lots is going to depend on our top deck here. A Max Alex here. On the Giratina there. Oh no. There goes our strategy because all my opponent now needs to do is attach double dragon energy and my opponent can retreat that Giratina. Dark Pulse for 130. We will promote our Lugia. And we will, if we can, we will try to license out Giratina and hit for the kill, but we cannot. We could license a Trubbish now. That is something we could do, or we could simply end. Um, I will play down my combi, evolve into my first queen. Then it is, it is the. Time to choose here, Lysander or N. Lysander or N. I'm going to Lysander the Trubbish. A retreat into... Uh, do we retreat into Vespa Queen? Um, we have two Revitalizers in a discard pile, I think. Yes, oh, that's a bummer. Um... I'm not sure. I will retreat into the Vesper Queen. I don't want to give my opponent a knockout on our Shamans. And we will end our turn. Hopefully we buy ourselves a turn. Hopefully we can top deck the DCE in the next turn. And then we can license our Shaman, knock out the Shaman. And all we need to do then is license her out another Pokemon, uh, the Giratina, and knock that Pokemon out. And then we win the game against this Darkrai Giratina Garbodor deck. A very competitive deck. A very competitive deck indeed. A deck that uh, will will stay after rotation, I think. Yeah, I think it doesn't lose too much of anything. Max Alexir stay after rotation. Zero Seek will go, so there's that. No more Zero Six. Uh, what did we see? An N? Did we see an N? An energy on the Trubbish, so my opponent will not retreat the Trubbish with the Floatstone, it seems. And then we might see an N. Do we see the end? 
I think my opponent is thinking about using the N whether or not she wants to do it because she knows we do not have a DCE and now we get a chance at finding a DCE here. We know we have one more DCE in our deck and there is there is our DCE but we don't get our Lysander. We needed to, we needed our Lysander, we needed a VN Seeker for our Lysander from this N. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. And a pass onto our turn. And there is Vesper Queen. Well, I am going to retreat into my Bumblebee and I'm going to Rototiller DCEs back into my deck with the Bumblebee. It is one DCE exchanged for two DCEs. I'm completely fine with that. And we'll Rototiller again. Simply because we did not get our Lysander. It is very important that we get our, Rot our DCEs back into our deck here while we can. We managed to buy ourselves a turn. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. An energy on a trebuchet, so our Bumblebee will go down. We will need to top deck a DCE once again here. And then hopefully... Actually, no, this is bad. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. This is very bad. We cannot license in the next turn for a kill. We'll need to give our opponent a knockout on something else as well. Another Vesp Queen. This is very, very bad. Uh, Via Seeker. Um, I could Via Seeker the Giratina right now, or I mean, I could license the Giratina. Uh, I need to go for an N. Need to N again. Bring my opponent down to three cards. Can we find a Lysander and a DCE? We do have the DCE, but no Lysander. Well then, well then, let's uh, Sky Return our Shaman maybe. I'm not sure. So we can maybe bench our Shaman. And give my opponent a KO on our other Vesp Queen, I guess. I think that's our best play at the moment. That way my opponent can also not get rid of one of our DCEs. So we will Sky Return our Shaman against this Darkrai. And promote another Vesp Queen. In the next turn, we'll Lysander. We'll try to Lysander the Shaman for my opponent. Take a prize. And then all we need to do is set up another Vesp Queen. And take a prize against the Giratina from my opponent. So we are trying to work our way around. Uh, uh, around our bad top decks here. We are forced to do that. Forced to come up with some incredible uh, difficult strategy here. To try to take this game. An energy on the Giratina on the bench. Can we actually one hit KO that Giratina? I'm not sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, yes, we can. We can even license the other Giratina. There's the Garbodor. Hopefully, we don't see a Floatstone on the Garbodor. Shutting off our abilities. And oh my goodness, my opponent has a Floatstone. The N is not helping us out one bit here. Not one bit. My opponent got the Floatstone from the end. Well, well, well. Let's promote our Vesper Queen. So now we are hitting for 4, 8, 12, 14, 15, 16, 160, 180. That's a knockout. Nope, that is just 10 short. Well, we can discard a Pokemon Ranger. No, we'll discard a Sycamore and a Shaman. Guess my opponent has the Garbodor out. We'll grab ourselves a Komi if we have it. No, we need to find a Komi from the prizes here. We need to find a Komi from the prizes. And we will take the knockout on this Darkrai with our B Revenge. 200 damage right there. What can we find our Komi? This is going to be super duper important. An Ultra Ball and a Float Stone. We do not find our Komi. Oh my goodness. So now all we can do is... All we can do is try to... There's nothing really we can do, actually. Uh, double Dragon Energy. And no, I think we lost the game because we could not find our Komi. We needed that Komi and then we could have taken the game in the next turn if we could have found our DCE from the end, maybe. Our Lugia cannot win against the Giratina. The Lugia cannot... One hit KO the Giratina. Hits for 
6, 120 damage only. Oh boy, oh boy. I could try to Lysander out the other Giratina. Maybe a DCE. We need to play our Pokemon Ranger and... Ah, uh, yeah, we lost this game, but just barely. Pokemon Ranger... Wait. Why can we not play these E's now? I did use my Pokemon Ranger, so... Remove all effects of attacks on each player and on his or her Pokemon. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask why can't I play DCE used Poke Ranger? I'm pretty sure this should work unless I'm missing something here. Why can I not attach my DCE? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, it must be a bug. Well, GG then. Nice game. Uh, we will pass the turn to my opponent here. Let's end our turn and let's give our opponent the KO on our Lugia EX. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not. If anyone knows, please just let me know why this Pokemon Ranger did not allow me to attach a DCE to my Lugia. It wouldn't have mattered, we would have still lost the game because we could not find our Komi from uh, from the discard pile, from the prizes. If we did, we could have played down our Komi, we could have evolved into our Vespa Queen, attach our DCE if the Pokemon Ranger would have worked. And then we would have taken the KO there, so this was a very, a very close game. Just a little bit unlucky there at the very end. I think I played pretty well, seeing as though the cards that I drew into weren't always the best. We kind of missed out on some very important cards at points. I might have made a misplay here or there, but that sometimes happens when you are recording and talking at the same time. Anyways, a very nice match. 580 damage dealt versus 850 from my opponent, Vespa Queen. MVP versus Darkrai EX. I think I am going to leave it here for this week's Fun Friday episode with this Vespa Queen, Klefki, uh, Halucha, and uh, some other Pokemon deck. I'm not sure how I'm gonna call it. Maybe Vespa Queen and Friends or something. It is a very fun deck to play. I highly recommend it. Alright, I hope you had a lot of fun watching this very, very close match. I hope you have a truly cartistic day and I will see you next time with a Meta Monday episode. Carp, 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 car